So in review unit 10, we actually did the beginnings of algebraic thinking. It's called equivalent expressions. We often made our expressions simpler. So we're going to simplify these expressions by combining our like terms. What does combine mean? You have to know your vocabulary. It means add or subtract. There's no multiplying when you're combining. And you can only add or subtract like terms, the same kind. So six commutative property still works. You could do this in any order. So that's 7x plus 8x. That's 15 times x, no matter what value x is. 13xy minus 12xy is 1xy, but we never write a coefficient of 1. That number there is called a coefficient. It's the number multiplying the letters. You write that xy, x times y. 5x minus 4x, the minus goes with the 4x, and that makes 5x minus 4x is 1x, which we write as x. We got to make sure we put the plus 8y in the answer. We put things in alphabetical order. So you're going to write x plus 8y. Negative 6x plus 5x is negative 1x, but we don't write negative 1x. We write negative x. And then minus y just comes to the answer. It's negative x minus y. So when you have this situation, you have two choices. You could combine all these like terms, or you could use distributive property, but no matter how you do it, you're going to get 24x. All right, so 0.24x plus 0.6x. So 2.4 plus 0.6 is 3. So that's 3x. I'm not going to write 3.0x. 3x minus 6. You combine the like terms. 1 half y plus 1 fourth y. Well, we have to have common denominators, right? So we need 2 fourths there plus 1 fourth y equals 3 fourths y. Which is equivalent to 7 minus 3x? Well, you have a minus 3x, so you better have a negative 3x. So you have a positive 7, you better have a plus 7. It's this one that says both of them are wrong. Order of operations here, right? You have to do the one on the left because it's a tie. 9y minus 4y is 5y. 5y minus y is 4y. You look for like terms. 7x plus x is 8x. 4y minus 9y, 4 minus 9, same as 4 plus negative 9, negative 5y, which we're going to write as minus 5y, 8x minus 5y. 5y minus y is 4y minus 12x, but if you look, if it was multiple choice, for instance, or you're looking for an answer key, would, that would not be there, right? We're going to put that in alphabetical order, negative 12x plus 4y. What is the coefficient of y? The coefficient of x is negative 3. It's the number multiplying x. So the coefficient of y is 1, right? Because there's 1 there. 5 is not a coefficient because it's not multiplying a variable, right? The number multiplying the variable is called a coefficient. The letters are called variables. The whole thing is called an expression. And in that expression, there are three terms. Negative 3x, y, and 5. All right, so then we learned how to multiply. So negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Negative 30 times 2 is negative 60. And you just bring the x and y along. Negative 60, xy. If you have to, you come over to the side and do 1 7 times 14. There's canceling. And almost all the ones with fractions, you'll have canceling. Two negatives make a positive. So this is 2x. 2 fifths times 15y, 2 fifths times 15, cancel, and you get 6y. And yes, you can cancel it right there. 2 times 3 is 6. Oops, I have two problems there. But x to the fifth times x times x cubed is x to the ninth. There's a 1 here, not a 0, a 1. 5 times 5 cubed, right? We're making things simpler, so we're treating that just like x no different. x times x cubed would be x to the fourth. 5 times 5 cubed is 5 to the fourth. Don't. It is not 25 to the fourth. Do not start multiplying. Someone will do that on the test because someone does every year. x cubed times x. You add the exponents, you get x to the fourth. y times y squared, you add the exponents, you get y cubed. 
the division, the last thing we did. There's two there, we cross them out, we win them, we subtract. This is division, so we subtract. This is x to the fifth over one, x to the fifth. The seven to the fifth cancel, six minus five is one. So you have one over seven to the first, but we never leave it seven to the first. We leave it as seven. One seventh is the answer. The x squared cancels, there's three minus two, one. The y fourth cancels, there's y to the first. This is x to the first over y to the first, very similar to the last one. You don't write x to the first, you don't write y to the first. This is x over y, is what it simplifies to. Distributive property. So this is 14xy minus 21y, seven and seven times six is 42, and that is in alphabetical order, you're done. One half times six is three. One half times six x is three x. One half times negative two y, right, is negative one y. So this is negative y. Half of two is one, half of negative two is negative one, but we don't write the negative one in our answer. We're distributing 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times four is 1.2. 0.3 times x or negative x is minus 0.3x. It's in the wrong order, so we're going to put negative 0.3x plus 1.2. We're distributing here. Negative 4 times 2x, negative 8x. Negative 4 times 6, minus 24 plus 30. Don't. Now, that is not the right answer. Why is that not right? because you have to combine like terms if they're like terms in the expression. So you have to do negative eight, negative 24 plus 30 is positive six. You have to do that. If you fail to do that, it's wrong. It's not half credit, right? Leaving this is like leaving two fourths instead of putting one half. You haven't finished simplifying. All right, so here you're distributing a negative one. I like to write it in negative one X and you can even write the negative one X in there because it's not the answer yet. Negative one times nine, negative nine. Here you're distributing a positive three plus three x plus 18. Negative one x plus three x, two x. Negative nine plus 18 plus nine, right? Negative nine plus 18 is nine. Three times four x is 12 x, three times two is six. Negative 10 times x is negative 10 x, negative 10 times one, negative 10. 12x minus 10x, 2x. 6 minus 10, negative 4. Negative 2 times 3x, negative 6x. Negative 2 times 5y, negative 10y. Negative 1 times 5x, negative 5x. Negative 1 times y, negative y. Negative 6x minus 5x, negative 11x, right? Because negative 6x minus 5x is the same as negative 6x plus negative 5x. Negative 10y minus y, negative 10 minus 1, same as negative 10 plus negative 1, negative 11y. This is negative 11x minus 11y. Find the factors. All right, so this is going to be probably the toughest thing on the test, right? So what's this? The factors are the two things that multiply to make that. Now, right, How? what this, I taught you this is that the first thing you should do is figure out, this is distributive property backwards, so what number must have been out there? It's the greatest common factor of 2, 16, and 8. All right, so the first factor is a 2. So there are, let me just, I want to make sure this is clear. We have factors. One of them is a 2. Now, the other factor is what's in the parentheses. So what made 2x? x, right? 2 times x is 2x. What made 16y? 8y. What made negative 8? minus 4. So the other factor was x plus 8y minus 4. But you're doing, when you find these factors, it's distributive property in reverse. Find this number first. All right, so what is the greatest common factor or divisor of 18 of 45? It is 9. So we're going to take 9 out there. So one of the factors is 9. Oh no, one of the factors is also x. So we have 9 and we have x. That's a factor. And then we have whatever out here. So what 9x times what makes negative 18x? Is it negative 2? Because 2 times 9 is 18, so negative 2 times 9x. And then plus 9x times 
xy, 9 times 5, so it's negative 2 plus 5y. The other one is negative 2 plus 5y. Let's practice. So here you're distributing a negative 1. So it's negative 7. Negative 1 times negative 3x, positive 3x, right? Two negatives make a positive. All right, so now we have like terms. You cannot leave it that way. You don't multiply the 9, but you do add negative 7 plus 9 and get 2. 2 plus 3x is in the wrong order, so you're going to switch it around 3x plus 2. Find the factors. So you're going to do distributive property in reverse. What went out here? It's clearly 7, so one of the factors is 7. There's no x or y in all of them. So what made negative 14x? Negative 2x. What made 7y? 1y, but we're going to write y. What made negative 77? I believe it was minus 11. So the other factor is negative 2x plus y minus 11. Those are the two factors. So what number? This is really the easier version of what that you just did there. What was out here that made 2x plus 12? Really blank times 2 equals negative 6. Blank times 12 equals negative 36. The same hat number has to go in both. And that number is negative 3. So the question mark was negative 3. All right, so which expressions equal negative 2y plus 10? Well, this is negative 2y plus 12, so not that one. This is negative 2y plus 10, so that's a yes. This is negative 2y minus 10. Also, if you didn't want to do all three, you could have worked backwards, right? Oh, but I put a negative 2 out there, so you'd have to take the negative 2 out and then you do y minus 5. Okay, good luck with the homework.